Hey everybody, we're picking up where we left off yesterday, about half an hour went by, we chilled at Adam and Don's, and now we're heading out. Tyler, unfortunately, can't join us for the rest of the night, he's got uh, plans for the morning, so he's heading home. And uh, yeah, Adam, Don, and I, we're taking the subway, we're headed towards Dundas West Station. Typically, we want to start our downtown experience kind of late, but uh, this year we're starting in the West End kind of earlier, and that'll make it so we can get to the downtown part where it's usually like ultra busy later, and that way it won't be as crowded once we're downtown. So yeah, Dundas West Station, this is where we're going to meet up with my brother Matt. And check out our first installation. It's uh, very fitting that we're visiting pike, <laughs> bike pirates right away, since this is going to be mostly a biking journey. And uh, we got our, our group ticket, uh, Sonic Bikes. Seems like a bunch of bicycles repurposed into musical instruments. It's kind of dark in here, so the GoPro footage is a little bit shit, but bear with me, guys. Kinda neat. Tap on a bunch of bike frames and stuff and make some neat sounds. Oh yeah, that that was like a cassette tape magnet strip thing attached to the the crank arms of a bike. And yeah. Unfortunately it had been getting broken already, so you couldn't play with everything, but uh, a lot of the things you could just give them a couple wax. Use a violin. Yeah. It was pretty cool. And then uh, went down the street to the MOCA Museum of Contemporary Art. I guess all of the, well, first three floors are open tonight. Which, that's not what the website said when I was planning our route. And I thought by now the second and third floor would be closed. But, uh, oh well. Didn't actually go look at those, instead just looked at the ground floor. <clears throat> we have a whole night ahead of us, so I wasn't too worried about it. Plus, I mean, you can go to that museum anytime, guys. And, uh, yeah, little, uh, buttons on something. Asking about your opinion on climate stuff. I didn't read them, I just mashed the buttons. And the game or visualizer or whatever didn't seem to love it when you did that. Yeah. You know, classic uh, art thing being like, climate guys. Mm, things maybe gonna get worse. <laughs> so yeah, then we rode down Gladstone over to Gladstone House. And this is just a window display. Some inflatable hands thing. I kind of feel like these were at Ontario Place earlier in the year for their like night light exhibit thing that they do sometimes. And uh, yeah, kind of seems like they're doing a bunch of stuff in here, but uh, I don't know. The sign says viewable from outside only, but the door was open, so maybe you could have went in there. Whatever. So, yeah, taking these bike lanes along Doro into Garrison Creek Crossing here. We're headed to the Bentway. Yeah, expectations a little bit low for the Bentway. This uh, Beyond Concrete installation has been up for like a month or two already, so. I've already seen a lot of the stuff that's here. But there was some extra stuff, and I don't think they're always playing this music, and I don't know. I guess I'm not usually here at night, or I guess, well, there's like the lichen thing, which is all right. It's hard to see during the day. But yeah, that's some lichen, or a video of lichen. Yeah, and the bamboo woven structure thing. Yeah, I guess they didn't add anything to it. Just still the plastic that I feel like they bought for this installation. 
Or whatever. There's some people dancing here. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Classic people slowly moving around in a weird clothing. I don't know. <laughs> Art <laughs> thing. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems so stereotypical sometimes. Yeah. And, uh, we walked up to the Stack It Market. It can be kind of creepy to cross this bridge on a bike, but you know, I don't know. It's also like just before last call and a bit of a miscalculation on my part, guys. Bathurst and King is ultra bar crowd and yeah, we're feeling it. We're in this crowd now. I guess the Stack It Market itself wasn't that bad. But, uh, yeah, there's a few things going on here that I want to do look at. And I never really come over here, so some of this stuff, I'm pretty sure, is just always here. Like that wasp. But who knows what's really going on. Oh yeah, one wheeler starting shit with the security guard. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Mostly just a place that you could drink your booze and uh, chill out in, which is fine, I guess. But then we did get to the, some of the art stuff. These inflatable balls with faces projected onto them. I like that one, it's pretty neat. You know, I feel like this is a decent use of AI, morphing the faces into one another. Who knows, maybe the faces are AI generated, but yeah. So yeah, this whole courtyard had uh, displays going on. And I like seeing these, uh, those cutouts. It was a little bit busy though, so I didn't really go inside too much. But yeah, stuff on the floor. Hmm. Interesting. I have a feeling these umbrellas are always here. But they look nice. I'm into that. Not sure what that huge crowd was for. And I wasn't willing to find out. So uh, yeah, we hung out for a bit, Don got bagels for us, and it was a bit of a wait, but honestly we kind of needed it. It was good to just chill out for a bit and eat some bagels, and hopefully the crowds will start to die down even more by the time we do get into the downtown core. And we're taking that Portland Street pedestrian bridge over to the next area. These are... Well, this is XO underneath the gardener again, along these bents. You know, this is part of the bent way too, technically. But yeah, kind of cool. I like seeing things hang from those uh, supports. And then uh, here we are again, staging grounds just across the street from XO. And, uh, yeah, I thought this was kind of cool. It's kind of like a boardwalk marsh kind of thing going on. But, uh, yeah, also, I, I don't know. I wasn't loving this use of AI. This kind of feels like something that Midjourney would spit out if you're like, oh, trees growing out of, like, wasteland cars and stuff. Like, that car does not look like a human made that car. It's all morphed together weird. Yeah. I don't mind AI if it's used in a way that's just like, you know, you're looking for inspiration and then you're going to transform it yourself. But if you just clearly see it in the final product, it's a little bit, uh, eh. Yeah. So, staging grounds, kind of cool. You can see some of the damage in the, uh, supports of the gardener yeah 
I wonder if they'll fix that or tear it all down. And then, uh, yeah, headed towards the water. There's something going on with the malting silos. Really wish they would just get rid of the malting silos. They're just abandoned, but uh, apparently it'd be really expensive to remove them in an environmental way. But it's like prime uh, land right there. It's just some empty silos. Anyways, it was like a video of some nature and I don't know, a computer or something being like, oh, what if we change the nature? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we're behind the music garden. I pretty much have never been over here before. Like, I'm always on the bike lane uh, just to the north of this uh, park. It's really supposed to be walking through here, but since there's barely anyone around, it's, it's alright. Maybe I'll come back and check out the garden at some point. But, uh, yeah, after that, we just kept riding along the waterfront for a bit. I did go into an area, I thought there'd be stuff, but there was nothing. It was actually at the bottom of Young Street, where the giant duck was. It's a collective of uh, artists, I guess, doing stuff here. Some plastic quilts, and some melting ice somewhere, I didn't see the ice. They had an augmented reality thing going on. Which I dislike augmented reality. I'm not even going to bother looking at it. This was kind of weird. The moving one was like freaking out Don. <laughs> I'm not sure what they have wrapped up in here. Tree-like objects, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. And this one, a projection of like some people enjoying nature and birds and stuff they want you to chill out and just enjoy the peacefulness they have this birdhouse over here yeah however it was not peaceful it uh, sounded like a, a gasoline generator going up because they needed it to power the display <laughs> I don't know why they can just pl plug it into like a building over there but uh, Oh well. Hmm. Yeah. Then we looked at some of these sculptures. They're always here, but, you know, look at some art, why not? Now we're heading up Bay Street. And, yeah, things are definitely quiet over here. There might have been something on Young or uh, Union, but, uh,. We're getting a little bit tired now, so we're just going up bay, looking for whatever there is. It's like a corporate sponsored uh, light bright thing, which I kind of liked, but uh, you know, there's was a little bit too much of an advertisement going on. And then along King Street, we uh, took a left, I believe, or no, we took a right, and there's this grass circle. This is invasive grasses made to make that circle. Apparently there was also some performances, but they're already over. I think it's around 3 or 3.30 that we're here, so yeah. Magic uh, lantern. Genie lamp. Aladdin, anyone? Hmm? And the random people that were here. It was kind of funny hearing them talk. They're like, this is Bailey's moment. I'm like, why is this your moment? You're just standing here. But whatever. That's Bailey's moment. Caught on film. So yeah. Things are a little bit far apart. We had to go like around the corner and up the block to the next place. The living room. This is a classic stuff, overgrown and retaken by nature. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, I feel like the stuff that they actually have that's here, it's 
it looks too new, you know? You should have found older stuff that was already a little bit taken over by nature. Like, I can glue moss on my furniture, too. But, uh... Yeah. Definitely feeling like a lack of funding this year. Like, there's no big uh, bank sponsors. <laughs> like, Scotiabank used to sponsor it sometimes, and... Wouldn't be surprised if the Ontario government, like, really cut the funding down. And, uh, yeah, in Nathan Phillips Square, this is our big display. The square is actually made up of a bunch of stone pavers that can be removed and configured in different ways. I've seen them do it before for something, I kind of forget, but this is, like, the main thing that they got going on. Which feels like a cheap way to transform the space, I guess. But they put these, like, metal footprints around, like, I don't know. I don't, uh, recognize the artist. I think Matt said something about it adds more context to the installation. Yeah. And you're allowed to throw coins into the, uh, thing. You know, you make your wish for the future of Toronto. Well, this one was kind of neat. Uh, it had the light underneath and like shining at an angle. It was actually illuminating some of the stones where you could walk. It's like we're a part of the exhibit now. We're in it. But yeah. I mean, I guess it's okay. One year it was just like five spotlights shining up a TP kind of thing. But yeah, here's the loot bag. Whoa, that's a thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. This was one of the ones that uh, was on the pictures for the upcoming events. Since it must have existed somewhere else already. I kind of like it, like a big inflated thing. What can I say? I like the big things. So then, uh, behind City, uh, Hall, Down Hall or whatever, there's a few more things. Yeah, classic people moving slowly, doing nothing, pointless. But kind of a true reflection, reflection of our real lives, you know, we're all just doing our things. Other people may view as pointless. Do I really need to be making this video? We're all just walking around until it's over. And uh, yeah, there's also something going on in this uh, parking lot, garage, underground here. A video film getting played as well as a moth sculpture. Yeah, it was kind of loud down here. And, uh, didn't love that part. Moth. Looking mothy. Yeah. And people were smoking and vaping in here. And I did not like it. I was like, damn, that smells gross, guys. Like, if people are vaping and it smells like apple cinnamon or something, I don't mind. But it just smelled gross. So I was out of there. And that's more or less it for the night, guys. Looking at the map, there's some information or something at Dundas Square. It didn't look like there was actual stuff. So we didn't bother. Adam and Don are already heading north, going home. For Matt and I, we uh, took Wellesley over to Queen's Park and saw that there was like a party going on in here. And as we got closer, we realized it was like Two or maybe four separate parties all playing their own music. Sounded terrible. And uh, yeah, just uh, one of those things, I guess. I mean, I kind of like it. Just like, yeah, guys, just do your pop up parties. Do whatever. Although, we did walk by the porta potty and it smelled terrible. <laughs> I don't think they were expecting that many people in that area, so makes sense. But yeah, 
that's more or less it for our new blush. I think when I got home it was about 4.30 or 5-ish. And I was ready to go to sleep. But you may be seeing the video, we still got four minutes, guys. That's right, this is my Sunday episode, so what I do next is like a part of it. <laughs> yeah, mostly I just slept and uh, then when I woke up I edited yesterday's video. And uh, kind of feeling it in my legs, all the walking we did yesterday. Anyways, I haven't updated you guys on the aquarium in a while. You know, some of the plants not looking so great. Probably gonna pull some of these. But part of me is like, uh, I gotta get my arm wet again. <laughs> Who knows, maybe they'll spring back. Probably won't though, a lot of these. But it would be kind of neat to trim the stem plants and then, you know, plant them again. So we get uh, the thicker plantings. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I kind of just wanted to record it <laughs> as a part of the updates. So, yeah, the, uh, the top plants, most of them are doing all right, except for the strawberry plant. Seems like it didn't like being in the water and it didn't like being in the moss. Oh, well. Spider plant doing all right. The pothos, all of them seem to be, you know, fine. I'm not really seeing much growth or like root action, but peace lily, also good. The duckweed, I don't know. Not really seeing anything new with them. Maybe duckweed needs to be in like a little bit more of moving water, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I wanted to eat meat. So I went to Freshco and I bought some sausages. They're almost closing now, so I didn't see many deals. I don't know. <sighs> oh yeah, we got our green bin back. Not sure where that was, but uh, made that stew. That was pretty tasty. And then after midnight, I wanted to go out and do some Uber. I think it was pretty late. Yeah, just after two that I start, so wasn't really expecting that much uh, Uber action, but I kind of know I wanted to ride around and you know look at a bit of junk, just get out of the house a bit more. It was kind of neat. It's like some camera gear or something. Kind of looks like one of those knobs for pulling focus or something like that. Who knows? But yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of accessories for it. And I did take this amp. I figured, you know, I haven't done a trash to cash in a while. I'll try it with that amp. I don't have a good way to test it though. This was kind of just a neat umbrella. <laughs> yeah. So I rode around for a bit more and I got a McDonald's request. It was only $4, but it's literally just to the corner <laughs> and then a momo loco that was six bucks but this is like up to uft basically right across from bayon but yeah easy deliveries i'm still kind of feeling it in my knee anyways though my left knee so i decided to go offline and just ride around a bit more and chill out while i'm listening to some podcasts yeah and look at the street junk, like, who knows what's going on. I've been thinking about getting a shop vac, like a mini one. I was like, yo, vacuum? But the power cord on this has been cut. Kind of weird. But maybe that's like a good thing to do if it's actually trash, to just cut off the power cord so people don't waste their time taking it. And, uh, yeah. Kind of a neat chair. I like the legs of it. A little bit broken. Oh yeah, and this house with the diorama. We've changed it up since the last time I was here. I kind of forgot where it was, so it's been a while since I've visited. And it's across from a school, so I think the kids 
are like encouraged to write what they think the name should be for whatever is being displayed. That's kind of fun. And yeah, just more looking at junk. Oh, I saw this cat. It meowed at me a lot. I thought I wanted to be petted, but it didn't want to be petted. It just walked away. Kind of a huge paunch on it. I don't know. Hopefully that cat's all right. But yeah, that's more or less it for my Sunday, guys. Made $10 on Uber. And, uh, yeah, you know, I kind of just wanted to get out so I'd be online for every day of the week that, that week. $218. Wasn't super busy when I was out there this week. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.